Recently, the story surfaced from a flight where a plus-size woman who had bought two seats was asked by another passenger to give up one of her seats for an 18-month-old toddler. This happened because the mother of the child had not purchased a separate seat for her son, expecting instead to keep him on her lap. Everything seemed smooth until the mother approached the woman, demanding rather than asking that she consolidate into one seat to free up space for the toddler. The woman refused, explaining she had purchased the extra seat to ensure her comfort during the long flight. The flight attendant got involved, ultimately instructing the mother to keep her child on her lap, which led to several hours of unpleasant looks and comments directed the woman who paid for two seats. The woman tucked to Reddit to share her experience, sparking a huge online discussion. The majority supported her right to the seat she paid for criticizing the entitled attitude of the demanding mother. Comments pointed out that if space was a concern, the mother should have bucked it in advance. Others noted that expecting someone to give up a seat they purchased sets a concerning precedent. This brings us to airline policies. Some airlines, like Southwest, have specific guidelines allowing plus-size passengers to purchase extra seats and even receive a refund for them under certain conditions as a way to ensure comfort for all passengers. So, what are the broader implications? This incident isn't just about a flight or a seat. It's about understanding and respect. It's about the challenges plus-size travelers face and the need for clear policies that support all passengers. As we wrap up today's episode, let's think about the kindness and empathy we owe each other, especially in confined spaces like an airplane. What do you think? Should there be more clear-cut policies? Or is this just a case of common courtesy? Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our latest content.